watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader. So making your purchases to shop small, uh, making some shop small purchases will encourage you to make a big difference for some people who could use a boost over the holidays. It's called Operation Christmas. April McNeil from Least of These Ministries is here with Isaiah Kelly. He's a student at Highland Park High School and is also going to be a vendor in this event. So I'm excited to hear about that, Isaiah. But first, April, Least of These Ministries, for those who aren't familiar with it, what are you all about? Um, basically just providing resources for those who are most vulnerable in our community. Um, and so that's everybody from, it could be very young people, um, youth who are in need of our services to our seniors. Um, and so that's part of what Operation Christmas is about. Right, Operation Christmas is part of the ministry. What do you do for Operation Christmas? It's a very specific project and I love it. Yes, so um, every year we adopt 100 seniors um, at Mission Towers. It's a low income apartment complex for elderly and disabled. And we do um, Christmas dinner, they do a Christmas wish list, and we send letters back and forth leading up to, and we do a variety show for them when they come down to eat their dinner and get their gifts. Which seems like a lot of fun, and hence the festive attire. Is that kind yes. of what you do? You put on the, the reindeer antlers and you have a little fun? <laughs> yes, I usually dress up as Mrs. Claus, and oh, we do deliveries for those who can't come down um, to eat in their activity room. Super fun. One of the ways you raise money for it and support for it is through this market that's coming up on Saturday. Yes. And Isaiah, you're going to be taking part in it. So what are you going to be doing? I sell these gushers and it's basically like a business I came up with. I was just kind of bored and made these little gushers. So basically it's like a Mexican candy and I kind of whipped it up at home one day and I gave it to one of my cousins and they loved it and I just decided to start making them as like as a business. And coming from, you know, student athlete perspective and I play like basketball and I have a lot of things going on for me. I just managed it pretty well and I feel like a lot of people support me through the process. I just been doing it and April over here helped me out and she helped me get on our market with her and now she's helping me spread my business out farther in Topeka and get it well known. So this is a candy that you make, yeah. a specific kind of candy. Yeah. You've got a, a special reason that you're actually selling this. Not just is it gonna help least of these ministries when you take part in Saturday's vendors market but you have a thing that you're gonna do with the money you earn. Yeah. What is it? So the money I, I do have, I'm using it for basketball related activities and sometimes I help my, my family in the process too with it. But I'm just using it to support my, my business and also support myself in the future with my basketball career and I wanna take it further. And I just wanna be able to use that money in a good positive way. Now are you exploring a journalism career as well? I am, I do like medium journalism as well. I like to take pictures, I like to take photography. It's my interest of mine. I've been doing it since I was like probably 10 years old. And I've been doing it ever since. I take basketball pictures, football pictures, all kinds of different pictures for different sporting events. And I kind of fell in love with it ever since. Awesome, so someday he's gonna be here, folks. I'm just letting you all know in advance. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so the market, where can we get his candy on Saturday? And what else is going to be part of the vendor's market that you have? Um, so it will be at 1701 Southwest Collins from 9 a.m. to 2. Uh, and we will have all kinds of different local vendors. Um, like I said, Isaiah is a Highland Park High School student. And so a part of Operation Christmas also is that we adopt 12 families from Highland Park mm -hmm. High School every year as well. Um, and so it's very important to us to um, boost our youth and make sure that they are, you know, <laughs> supporting them in Absolutely. the endeavors that they are um, embarking on. And so, so you have about, what, two dozen vendors there? Yeah, um, about 20, 25 What vendors. besides candy can we get? <laughs> you can get um, fresh roasted nuts, you can get um, candles, you can get um, embroidered um, tea towels and different things like that. Um, there's just so many different different vendors that will have um, some silk scarves that will be Fine. there too that are painted as well. Um, and the second part stuff. is not just do you want people to shop, but you could also use some donations to support getting gifts for the folks as well. So if people are interested in donating mm -hmm. rather than shopping, what sorts of things could they perhaps bring in drop off for you? Um, they can bring blankets, pillows, um, gloves, hats, um, Base, a lot of the uh, requests that we get every year are usually really things that we kind of take for granted, mm -hmm. and those are basic things that people need. Um, I'm surprised at how many kids request pillows for Christmas. Yeah. Um, but those kind of things, mm -hmm. clothes of any sizes, um, 
arts and crafts items. stuff. Yes. Yes. Puzzles, I think you mentioned last year for the seniors, that they love puzzles. Yes. So that's where you can do it from 9 to 2 Saturday at First Congregational Church, 1701 Southwest Collins. Least of these ministries, matt2540 at gmail.com is a place that you can email if you need a little bit more information. I'll put a link to their site too so you can learn a little bit more. And Isaiah, good luck to you. Thank you so much. Uh, with everything, your business, school, basketball, busy young man. Thank you so much. And go shop there Saturday so you can get his candy too. Thank <laughs> you both very much. When will the warmth return?